Did you see about the police officer that drove into a restaurant and arrested the owner? He crashed his car through the restaurant? Two videos, lots of questions after police SUV crashes in the St. Louis bar. Owner arrested. Man, what? <laughs> You're under arrest for putting this restaurant in the front of my SUV cruiser. You're in violation. Sounds like a Looney Tunes trap, like Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. Where they paint like a, a tunnel on a wall and then just crash into it. Two videos shared on Tuesday by an attorney for a South St. Louis bar owner show a police SUV crashing into the bar and part of the aftermath that led to the bar owner being arrested on charges of assault and resisting arrest. Oh, so the charges were separate from the crash. So this guy was just scooting in sideways like an action movie scene. The videos clear up some questions about what happened early Monday outside of the bar. Uh, bar PM, popular gay bar in the city's Carondale neighborhood. I'm sure I butchered that name. But they produced several more. The bar owner, the bar's co-owner, Chad Morris, was charged with third-degree assault and misdemeanor resisting arrest after the crash. Police claimed he pushed an officer and ran from them. Let's see what the footage... Oh my god. It is impossible to use the internet without an ad block these days. But I can't go on these websites with one on anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright. He didn't even really... Man. I can't even rewind the video because now I'm getting another ad. He didn't even get far into the restaurant. This is like an advertisement for whoever makes that door threshold, like the door frame. Fucking blocked a full speed police SUV. He bounced off of it. What is that made out of? Titanium? Adamantium? Like, look at this. It actually bounces the SUV back instead of crashing through the glass. It, that's impressive engineering. What a good build. So did the officer explain why he tried to crash through the front of the restaurant? Because at first I thought it'd be an accident, but this, clear, this is clearly deliberate. He made no attempt to slow down or anything, really, it doesn't seem like. He just zooms through like it's GTA Online. It's insane the car is flying, Kazeli said on Tuesday. If I did this, I would be cited. It's unclear why the SUV swerved. James Pence, Morris' husband and, off, and another co-owner of the bar said police initially told him they had to swerve to miss a dog. Officers later recanted and said they swerved to miss a parked car. The same explanation that p police gave reporters. This parked car? Brother, I got news for you. If you have to swerve to miss this parked car, you shouldn't be behind the wheel. It's, it's a parked car on a road with literally nothing on it. This is like the road outside of Courage the Cowardly Dog's house. There is nothing here. So if you had to swerve to miss this, you're either drunk driving or a terrible driver. He's a hero, don't you get it? True, I guess. I didn't even think of that. This is quite the, uh, stunt. Though I guess he's already out of control. Like, for some reason, it looks like he's already lost control of the vehicle, because he is kind of beelining towards that car, so maybe he really did swerve to miss it. I don't know why he tried to throw in a dog excuse. But why is he already losing control of his vehicle? Police did not respond to multiple requests for more information about the incident and Kazelli's accusations. They denied a sunshine request for dash cam footage of the incident, citing an active investigation. Man, that dash cam's gonna go hard. This is the aftermath. Looks like all of the framing's made out of wood. That's some strong wood. Mahogany, no doubt. Didn't even... The door didn't even budge. Didn't even make it to the door. This fine hard wood stopped it. Didn't even break the glass on it. I read a bit further about this after stream just because I was extremely curious as to how the officers would explain crashing into the bar like this. Like it's some kind of Dukes a Hazard moment. And there still isn't any real answers. Mike and Kelly, we still really don't have many answers from police and the bar owners say this was really scary for them. Their friends, however, have been very supportive and tonight they supported them in the best way they knew how, which meant opening the bar, damages and all. 
a power move reopening the bar in the condition that it's in, it's gonna look like a bar out of the Fallout universe, but hats off to them for it. Now, initially they claimed that they arrested one of the owners after blasting through the wall like the Kool-Aid man because it was a situation where the owner was resisting arrest. The officer claimed that he had been struck by the owner, which caused him to be off balance, which gave him probable cause to arrest the owner. Surveillance video shows a St. Louis police vehicle crashing into the front of the bar. I was loud. I was very vocal. But I never did anything to make any officer feel like I was trying to harm them or anything. I wanted to know why there was a police vehicle sitting in my building. Which I think is a pretty reasonable response given the situation. They apparently live above the bar, which means they would have heard this happen, and they probably assume they got hit by a fucking missile. So I think that is a perfectly warranted natural response given the circumstances. You're woken up to this loud explosion downstairs, you know, like, Hey, Buster, what's going on? Why did you crash your vehicle into my business, bub? Come on, Jiminy Christmas. Like, you would have probably thought you got hit by a drone strike or something. And then you just see this SUV halfway through your business. Now, luckily they invested in some of the highest quality wood the fucking United States has ever seen. So it didn't get all the way through into the bar and like bust everything up. It was mainly just damage to the front. But even still, that's pretty scary and confusing. So it makes sense he would be loud. Pence was briefly detained by officers at the very tense scene, but Morris was arrested, charged with multiple felonies, including assaulting a police officer and held without bond. There's currently no evidence to confirm the officer's side of the story that he was assaulted by the owners or anything like that. And the charges that were brought against him initially have already been reduced. But the lawyer that's representing them isn't satisfied with just misdemeanor charges being on the table. He wants the whole thing dropped. He says this is a bunch of baloney. He says that they actually have a video that confirms that the police were the aggressors. And from a couple of the articles I read, they reference another video that doesn't show any type of physical confrontation between the owners and the officers. So if this video exists, it should help prove that... The owners were not in the wrong in any way. The only thing that is confirmed is that the owners were yelling, which again I think is totally understandable given an SUV just crashed into their building in the middle of the night scaring the bejesus out of everybody. Yelling about <laughs> your business being attacked by a police SUV out of nowhere like a jump scare is not grounds for an arrest. So the attorney on Twitter is saying that they have a video to confirm there was never any physical confrontation. From some of the articles I've read, there's other videos that exist that also don't show any kind of like assault on the officer or anything like that. Now, if you want my theory here, I think the officer was extremely embarrassed with his awful driving and after hitting the building, immediately went into action movie mode. So the airbag deploys, blasts him in the face, maybe semi-concusses him, and then he's a, like he's, he's in a war zone in his brain at that point. So he pops open the door and does a combat roll out. He takes one knee, pistol drawn. He's got his service pistol out, analyzing the situation. And then all of a sudden the owners start yelling. And I think he was already in so deep that he felt like he needed to make an arrest or something. Like, that's what I think. I think it all stems from the shame of being such a dog shit driver that he ran into this fucking building. That's my theory. I don't think the owners assaulted the officer. I do think they were definitely yelling at him, which they had every right to do. But I don't think there was any actual assaulting of the officer here. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to cover this situation a little bit because that footage of the police SUV hitting like this mean drift into the building out of nowhere for no reason had me scratching my head wondering how everything's going to pan out from this point forward. That is probably the worst driver the police academy has ever put behind the wheel of a police vehicle, I've got to say. So, yeah, just wanted to talk about this a little bit. That's really about it. Oh yeah, also, one more thing. Whoever built the front of that building really needs to capitalize off this situation and start saying like, Hey, we were responsible for that super durable, super strong, indestructible build that blocked an SUV from getting through.